This Monday, parts of the U.S. will experience a total solar eclipse for the first time since 2017. So Oregon is not in the path of totality like it was seven years ago, but some of the states that are this time around could experience up to four minutes of total darkness as the moon covers the sun. Yeah, I still remember it like it was yesterday. So some people are going to be watching online, you know, not wanting to travel, but some other people will be traveling to the path of totality there. Our China Green is now in studio with us with the details. If you're one of those people who will be traveling, she's got a advice from travel experts for a safe and smooth adventure. Hey, China. Hey, so future eclipse watchers beware here. The roads will be busy and officials are urging people to pick a destination way beforehand. Hotel prices are up about 50% across the path of totality. According to AAA rental car company Hertz reporting their bookings in the path are up 2000% from this time last year and Department of Transportation officials are treating this like a major holiday weekend as people of all ages will be getting in position for the event that starts at 12:20 p.m. in Dallas. I'm a school teacher, so my students are getting out early on Monday and we have glasses prepared and videos taken, so we're excited. So some safety tips from AAA. Keep your vehicle's headlights on. Put the sun visor down to block your view of the sun. Don't wear eclipse glasses while you're driving. Don't try to take pictures or video of the eclipse while driving either. Don't pull over to the side of the road on a highway or interstate to watch. Exit the roadway and park in a safe area away from traffic and be mindful of pedestrians who may be walking around with their eyes in the sky because that's definitely going to happen.